So Mechagodzilla is possibly the villain of Godzilla vs. Kong, and that's cool. That is freaking, freaking amazing. amazing. Hello everyone, Superman and Bros here. This is not the video I was going to make. I was actually originally going to do a review of the Kong with Fighter Jet. I already did the unboxing for everything and all that, so this video is getting delayed. Because I got something even cooler. This was an Easter gift, and it is Mechagodzilla. The 6-inch Mechagodzilla with he... Also, quickly, before we start this video, look, look, look at this, I, I got a Mechagodzilla shirt. Yeah, I got this for Easter. It's pretty cool. Alright, so originally I was actually going to review this Kong figure right here, which is the Kong with Fighter Jet, because on Thursday I went out and went to three Walmarts just trying to find Wave 2 Godzilla vs. Kong figures, and I found Kong with Fighter Jet as well as Hong Kong Kong, Hong Kong Kong, as well as Hong Kong Godzilla. I was really happy to get these two, and also I, I feel like I should mention this as well. I also got Transformers Red RC, as well as Gamer vs. Iron Man, which will be future reviews on the channel. Also, this will be future review on the channel. This review is getting delayed for a Mecha Godzilla. I was legit so excited when I found out Mecha Godzilla was going to be in Godzilla vs. Kong. I found this out over a year ago. I actually did a breakdown to the leaked photos, which Probably I shouldn't have done that because I could have gotten my channel taken down, but whatever. Which, by the way, I have seen Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm going to redo a review of that sometime in the future, and I'm just going to quickly do my quick review on it. thought the film was great. It was fantastic. It was by far the best MonsterVerse movie. That's all I'm going to say. I won't talk about any spoilers or anything like that. But also, this is kind of a spoiler, but I really don't, I really don't care because you could literally go to Walmart and buy a Mechagodzilla figure as well as a t-shirt, so it's really not that big of a deal for me to talk about this. For the packaging for Mechagodzilla, it is basically the same as every other packaging for Wave 1. Wave 2 has somewhat weird packaging. It sometimes says from Blockbuster Movie Godzilla vs. Kong. Some of them don't. I For Easter, I also got a Skullcrawler as well as a McFarlane Toys Joker figure. And the Skullcrawler had a Blockbuster Movie Godzilla vs. Kong, which that was a Wave 1 figure. I don't know really how that's supposed to work, but this is exactly the same as the Wave 1 packaging, other than Mechagodzilla being everywhere. On the back, it does advertise some Wave 2 Godzilla vs. Kong figures, including the Warbat as well as Kong with a Fighter Jet. It has the same exact description of the film. It says Mechagodzilla with Heave, and the description of Mechagodzilla is a robotic apex predator with unstoppable powers of laser destruction. Mechagodzilla was created in secret to destroy Godzilla and end the reign of monsters. And yeah, without further ado, let's open this figure up a part of me really doesn't want me to open this up but i'm going to open it up something i noticed is that wave 2 like the packaging is like really easily it had two pieces of tape you could easily just take this off now that's like really interesting i actually kind of like that because it was a pain to get this stuff out So I'm trying to get this camera to work, but like, you, you see, right? It's a bit weird. Watch. I, I, do, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I, I legit have no idea what's happening. So here is Mega Godzilla out of packaging, and this figure is so good. The sculpt is fantastic. It looks like they just took it right out of the screen and made it a toy. That's basically what it looks like they did here. There's so much little details here. It's like unbelievable how much detail is on this $10 figure. And it just looks fantastic. And paint detail, though, there's not a lot. There is some paint detail, which is at the eyes right here, the inside of the mouth, and some on the torso. And the dorsal fins are are using a red flexible material so you're not gonna hurt yourself I noticed something that's quite interesting is that claws are are sculpted differently this one's more open while this one is more closed and it just looks fantastic I love the way this figure looks and for accessories he does come with a green heave which is really interesting I don't think there is a green heave in the film I'm not sure about that but this is really nice to have and now I have three heaves because I got 
two skull crawlers now so that's pretty cool and also this battle damage feature right here which actually i don't hate i don't like the battle damage features on pretty much every single godzilla versus kong figure but this one is surprisingly good like i like the way this looks like it blends in perfectly since mech godzilla is all these different lines so it just blends perfectly in and what you do is you just take it from the top and there you go there is some detail on the chest right there and the inside chest there's little details as well it's also painted in a dark gray which looks nice and i actually like this one now for articulation this figure has some great articulation it's probably one of playmates best the mouth can open and close and what's really interesting is that there's actually a hole there so you can put godzilla's atomic breath which is a missed opportunity for an accessory it should come with a red atomic breath piece since mech godzilla shoots red atomic breath i want to consider that a spoiler right since you could literally buy a funko a pop of that yeah i'm not considering it a spoiler so yeah that's a missed opportunity there the arms can go forward about that far and back about that far this part here is made out of a somewhat flexible material so it can move just a little bit but it does remove articulation and the arm can go out about that far the elbows sadly do not move same with the hands but the legs can go forward about that far and back about that far and can go out about that far look at this hey so i'm editing me here i forgot to mention this but also this part is also made of a somewhat flexible material just forgot to mention that and the knees can go forward about that far and back about that far and the feet can sole side to side and the tail is on a ball joint and is made out of a flexible material mine is unfortunately a bit warped so it's on a bit of an angle but not that big of a deal let's do some quick size comparison. <laughs> Overall, I think this is a fantastic figure with some amazing articulation and is one of Playmate's best. I'll put it up there with Kong and Skullcrawler as the best Playmate Godzilla vs. Kong figures. I highly recommend you pick this up because it is so hard to find. Wave 2 in general is so hard to find, but specifically Mech Godzilla is so hard to find. So as soon as you see it, pick it up because you will probably never see it again. So yeah, highly recommend you pick it up. See you guys later. Bye.